Hello, I'm Dr. Daksha Bakre, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist working at Cloud9 Hospital Belandur, Bangalore. Feeling your baby's movements in the womb is a very precious and joyous experience for both you and your partner. When will you start feeling the fetal movements? Well, if it is your first pregnancy, you can expect to start feeling it prominently after the 24th week of pregnancy. If you are lucky, you might start feeling some flutters even as early as 18 weeks. If this is your second pregnancy, then you might start feeling the movements anytime after the 16th week, but most commonly around the 18th week of your pregnancy. How should you monitor these baby movements? Well, in the second trimester, the movements may not be very regular or very strong. You might have a difficulty in perceiving them, especially if you're feeling gassy. Don't worry, just be body aware. Make sure that your baby has moved in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening and at night. You do not have to count the baby movements at this stage. But once you're well into your third trimester, Typically, after 32 weeks of pregnancy, it is a good idea to maintain a daily fetal kick count chart. How do you do that? Well, after you have your breakfast, go for a walk, short walk of about 10 to 15 minutes. Then in a semi-reclining, half lying down, half sitting position or in a lying down position, place your hands on your belly and count the number of fetal movements, whether it be rolling movements, flutters, kicks or any other kind of movement for a period of about one hour. Your baby should move at least six times after meals. Note that down in your diary. You can repeat the same after lunch and after dinner. If the baby has moved more than 10 times, you can stop counting. If the baby is not moving much or if it has moved less than three times during that span, eat something sugary or drink a juice or have a chocolate, take a short walk. Eating usually wakes the baby up from its slumber and it becomes active. Sometimes the baby can sleep, but it rarely ever sleeps for a period of more than two hours. So if you have not perceived any baby movements for two, two and a half hours, you should again eat something, lie down and try to feel the baby movements. If you're not feeling baby movements even after three hours, then you should report it to your doctor. Your doctor will check the baby's heart sounds with a Doppler machine or request for an NST or an ultrasound scan to make sure that your baby is doing all right. Counting baby movements at home and maintaining a daily fetal kick count chart after 32 weeks is as good as doing an ultrasound scan to see your baby's well-being. Wish you a very happy pregnancy and a safe childbirth.